So let's check back in with KC to see what our Sunday is going to look like. Yeah, it's going to be kind of similar to yesterday. We're going to have on and off showers today. More cloud cover certainly compared to sunshine. So not the best looking Sunday. Some of us are waking up to a nice dry start. We do have over some areas that are waking up to a wet start. That includes now portions of Miami-Dade County. A couple sprinkles in and around areas like Aventura lifting northward. Hollywood, Davie, Fort Lauderdale. You, seeing some, uh, see, you are seeing uh, some light to moderate rain currently spread into the area. And you can see that little shower out near North Miami Beach at the moment and Eastern Shores. We continue still with a level one out of four risk to see some isolated flash flooding for today. We have some saturated grounds and again we'll see some additional rain today. We've already seen some flood advisories issued very early this morning and it certainly will remain another possibility. Notice as we enter this afternoon, we'll continue to watch for that increasing chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms or chance for storms a little bit higher today compared to what we had yesterday. So we'll have to watch out for some lightning. Highs, middle 80s is where we're heading, still slightly below average for this time of year, and we'll be topping off of those middle 80s down to the Keys as well, thanks to some of that cloud cover. Out across the tropics, we are only keeping an eye on one area highlighted by the National Hurricane Center. This is deemed Invest 94L, and we do have model plots out on it. I'll have the latest model plots for this particular cluster of storms, and also take a look at when we can see some changes, some welcome changes locally, coming up in just a bit. Always alerting, always tracking. This is next weather. So we need the rain gear for today as we deal with these off and on showers and mm -hmm. then we're done. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, <laughs> yes. And then we're going to get a little bit of a break. I know the, the rain has just kind of gotten to be a nuisance at this yeah. point. We have a lot of ponding on roadways. We've got a lot of kind of muddy ground. And again, we'll have to watch out for the potential of seeing some localized flooding today. We have a setup that's going to still produce some showers and even some thunderstorms as we head into later on. So that's a little bit of a difference from what we had yesterday. Taking a closer look in at our next weather radar network, we do have rain. Everyone from near Plantation, Fort Lauderdale, down through Fort Lauderdale Airport, Hollywood, that stretch of I-95, likely slick. We saw some heavy, heavy pockets there just about a half hour ago. Now starting to lighten up, but we still have some heavier pockets out near the Hollywood area. And we're starting to see some heavier rain fill in Miami Beach, out through downtown, stretch of I-95 that travels down that way, and across Biscayne Bay at the moment, where we still have uh, some heavier pockets near Little Haiti at the moment, too. Farther south, Keys have been kind of the quietest area so far this morning. We have had a couple couple showers near the marathon area, uh, but that's about it down through the keys. It is going to be another unsettled day, though. Keep the umbrella handy. We've got this little wave of energy that's kind of draped near the Florida Peninsula that will continue to keep our rain chances elevated, and that's going to also bump up our instability just enough today where I do think it's a potential that we'll see some thunderstorms, so don't be surprised if you hear a little bit of thunder later on. Out across the beach and not the nicest looking beach day. It is going to be just kind of one of those wet, cloudier days. Temperatures sitting in the middle 70s low 80s down through areas like Key West and we will continue to watch for some showers as we head through this morning. We may see a little bit of a break a little bit later this morning, early this afternoon, but I do think we'll have the potential of seeing some additional rounds of showers and then some thunderstorms develop closer to about four, five, six o'clock. So just keep that in mind around the dinner time hour. We certainly could have some storms across the area, but then we're going to start to dry things up overnight tonight and we're looking much drier as we head into tomorrow. High temperatures today in middle 80s. That's below our average. It's it sits around 87 degrees for this time of year. So today, showers and storms as we head into tomorrow, rain chances start to lower. That little disturbance that's keeping us kind of wet today, that begins to move out, and then all eyes will be on a cold front set to move through as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday. It should be our first decent fall front of the season. Here we go. Are you ready? Nice drop in humidity on the way that will really start to feel by Tuesday, but especially by Wednesday and Thursday, and that's going to translate to some cooler mornings. You'll see that coming up here in your 74 forecast. We're talking about lows dipping into lower 70s, potentially even 60s inland. Out across the tropics, the only thing that we're keeping an eye on this is this cluster of storms out near the Cabo Verde Islands, just to the west of that. The National Hurricane Center just updated this chance of development to a 30% chance. So that has increased a touch. It's not going to have much of a chance for development over the next few days, so it's going to be impacted by some wind shear through about Wednesday. But after that, we're going to start to see more favorable conditions for development as it gets closer to the islands, lesser Antilles, greater Antilles. We We'll have to watch this as we head into next weekend. Right now, I wouldn't be too worried about it, but because it is going to be making this generally westward track and models agreeing upon that, we will be keeping an eye on it and continue to keep you uh, bring you those updates here. Remember to, by the way, trust reliable sources for your tropical updates. I know there's been a lot of fake forecast cones coming up on out on social media. I've seen them on TikTok, seen them on X, so make sure you're getting your information from a reliable source, either the National Weather Service or uh, from a broadcast meteorologist.
meteorologist. Nadine, by the way, is the next name on the list. Next weather 7 day forecast is rain chances lowering quite a bit by tomorrow. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday will continue with low rain chances, mainly dry conditions, and there are those cooler mornings ahead with low 70s. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and breezy conditions developing by the end of the week.